best brownie recipe, which really is delicious, moist, simple and fudgy and is going to delight your family and friends. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees centigrade. Then you need to melt 100 grams of butter in a pan. You need to line a baking tray. This square one is absolutely ideal for the job. Then with your melted butter, you need to add in some chocolate. Yes, I've actually got a mixture here of 100 grams of milk chocolate and 100 grams of dark chocolate. You can make it one or both, but do make sure you've got some dark in there because it really will give you a deeper, delicious flavour. Eventually, the chocolate will melt in the pan and you'll be left with this beautiful glossy sauce. Place the chocolate sauce to one side for it to cool for a while. Then you need to get a mixer and add 240 grams of caster sugar. Then four whole eggs. I use large eggs. You then need to mix for around about three to four minutes until it goes really like a soft, smooth, creamy batter. This will make your brownies so much fluffier and delicious. Then add in the chocolate sauce. Make sure you add it all in and don't forget, get a spatula around the edge of the pan to make sure you don't miss any of that gorgeous chocolate sauce. One of the secrets to this best brownie recipe is making sure that you fold in the mixture. Keep that airing because it's really important. Then we're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, not essence. You all know by now how I don't like that stuff. Again, fold in real gently, but make sure everything is combined. Then with a sieve over the bowl, you're going to add 100 grams of plain flour along with 400 grams of cocoa powder. Make sure it's really good quality. Then one teaspoon of baking powder. Please make sure that baking powder is in date so that you get a real good rise. Sieve it over the mixture to make sure you don't have any lumps. Then you're going to do the folding action again. Now this takes a little while, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to speed things up for you. Make sure you keep folding it properly. You don't want any pockets of flour or anything else. You just want to make sure it's smooth, glossy and totally mixed through, but without removing the air. Then take the mixture and place it into your square baking tray. You might need to give it a little hand to coax it into the corners to make it level. Then add in the remaining 70 grams of the chocolate. You could also use broken Easter egg as well. That's really great for Easter. But today I'm going to use Oreos. Yeah, one of my favorite things. But you could also make this a Valentine's brownie mix and have strawberry fondant. Or how about a cream egg brownie? Wow, yeah, put some of those little mini cream eggs in. I can't think of anything more delicious. As I have a request from my son, he wants Maltesers popping in. Now these go a little bit toffee-fied on the top, but if you don't want them to end up like that, just simply push them further into the mixture. You then need to bake for 20 minutes at 180 degrees centigrade. And remember, for the best fudge brownies, do not overcook. They need to be fudgy. Once cooked, take it out the oven. You can just check. As you can see, the mixture is still a little soft here, which is just how I want it. Then you can add some cocoa powder over the top and cut into squares. If you want the best brownie recipe, then get making these for your family and friends. They really are delicious. So moist, simple, fudgy, and you can make them just how you want by adding lots of different additions. You can also use it as a pudding. Warm it up in the oven and serve with ice cream. 
go to my website cookingwithemily.co.uk where you can get the ingredients list, you can see the whole recipe and you can print it off and watch the video again. You can also read the frequently asked questions and get the nutrition fact sheet.